Okay, it's Friday, May 1st. Uh, happy May Day. It is reading day. This semester has officially ended in terms of classes. Uh, finals week is about to start. Uh, your final is going to be a 400 question uh, essay. Oh, no, 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 that's not you guys. That's the other class. Uh, your final is basically, uh, we've done it. Uh, I'm going to uh, be pouring through all of your writings that you've sent to me, and I will be grading you uh, according to what you sent me. And if you've missed out on some things, uh, I'm sorry. I mean, I know life has been tough for all of us. We we're all dealing with a lot of craziness. Uh, again, if you have mitigating circumstances, please reach out to me and let me know before I get my grades in. I'm probably going to be taking about a week to do that. So uh, you just reach out if you have to. And hopefully you guys are safe and sound and that everything uh, gets better for all. From some of the last uh, videos I put up on gear, I've had a student get back to me and say, hey, I've got some specific questions about my gear and maintenance of that. And that's great. Hey, if you guys have any kind of questions uh, regarding gear uh, that I can help with, please feel free to reach out to me. My school email is still going to be there, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Uh, again, my forte is guitars, basses, ukuleles, some banjos, and occasional mandolin. Uh, I have dealt with saxophones before, but I'm pretty much a uh, string guy. Uh, I do know a fair amount that way, and I can help you out because I do flip them, and I'm always working on something. As a matter of fact, uh, right now I'm working on a 20s vintage banjo ukulele by Slingerland, as well as a 1940 Gibson Master Tone lap steel guitar with the original pickup that rocks. So, I mean, I'm always working on something, and I'll be happy to help you out and answer questions that you might have about your own gear. So I figured I'd give you a little view of where I work at at home. I have a subterranean studio, also known as a basement. Uh, it's uh, filled with all my favorite junk, and I'll show you a couple pictures, do a little pan around here. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess, and I would like to say that it's just because of this situation that it's a mess, but generally I'm a little bit of a slob, and uh, it'll stay a mess until I get to the point that I'm tripping over stuff, and then I will just be forced to straighten it up. But don't feel like you need to have a beautiful place or a wonderfully designed studio to make good music and to perform. Uh, because, hey, this might just be the way we perform for a little while. So here's some shots of my studio. One of the things we covered in the class was about chemistry. And, uh, you know, it really helps if you have good chemistry with people you're playing music with. When you can relate to what they're doing, they can relate to what you're doing. And it's not just musically, but you have to be able to get along with people. Some people who are great musicians aren't necessarily great bandmates. And you've got to find that happy combination. Hopefully in this class you might have met a few people that you might want to play music with again because uh, you had some good chemistry. And that would be wonderful. Not everybody's going to be fitting that bill for you, but that's okay. Not everybody's supposed to play music together. Uh, and hopefully you got turned on to some music from some other people in the class that you might not have listened to before. All right, rehearsing. You've heard in class what happens when people rehearse and when people don't rehearse. Basically, kind of waste the time of the people that have spent the time to rehearse their music because now when you're supposed to be playing the music that you're all ready to play, you're playing catch up for the people that haven't done their homework. Don't be that person. You know, I've told a lot of stories. I'm a storyteller. It's just the kind of guy I am. Uh, I'll tell you a quick story about rehearsing. I played in a band for a while, probably about five or six years with a guy who was okay. He wasn't great. He was okay. He had his moments. And then sometimes he wasn't even okay. And we made a comment one time about he needs to rehearse. And his wife, God bless her, said, he doesn't need to rehearse. He's a professional. Wrong. Professionals rehearse. That's why they're professionals. Professionals who don't rehearse really aren't professionals. Keep that in mind. Stage presence. 
Some people are naturally born with that ability to just capture an audience and be in charge when they're on the stage. And some people really have to work on it. However you do it, make sure you look like you're having fun and enjoying it. You should play every gig like it's the most important gig of your life. Even if you're bored, you're not into the music, smile, look like you're enjoying it. People will appreciate that. You know, one thing is really important. Be thankful. Be thankful that you get to do something that you have a passion for and that you truly love. Be thankful for your audience to be there because you can play music by yourself and still enjoy playing the music, but when you have an audience that's appreciating what you're doing and you appreciate them, that energy just makes the musical performance that much better. Be thankful there are people that you know that would give a body part, an entire body part, to have the gift and ability that you have. Don't waste it. Be nice to people. You don't know who you're talking to sometimes. It might be your next producer. It might be your next boss. It might be your next bandmate. Be nice to people. Network, because the more people you know and that know you and know what you do, the better chances you have of getting to where you need to be. Remember, walking down that path the people that aren't serious will fall off to the side, but the people that are really into it will walk by your side. That networking thing is just so important. You have to be aware that there's that thing, that six degrees of separation. I think Kevin Bacon might have talked about that. Well, you know, it's a way of if you take stock in who you've played with and what you've done, you'll start seeing the list growing and growing. And the more people that are in your network, the more you can call on or you can share with. Be pro. Remember the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Remember, you can't run with the big dogs if you piss like a puppy. Be pro. You never know who you're talking to. Be pro. Represent yourself as a rock star, a rap star, a jazz star, a star of stage and screen. When you put that out, people will see that you're serious. Don't be Axl Rose. Don't be Ted Nugent. Don't be 6 9 Don't be Zelia Banks. Be Sting, Prince, Paul McCartney. Be somebody that people are going to look at and smile not the other way around. Well, I've put a lot of information out there for you in these lectures these last couple of weeks, and uh, I hope some of you will take the time to watch them. I mean, did I waste my time? No, because it allows me to review some of the things that maybe I have forgotten. Uh, but I know that if I can share, uh, it's going to make you a better performer. And basically, that's my job here at the school, is to help you understand what you need to do to take it to another level. So hopefully next semester we're going to be back to uh, life as we kind of knew it before this all happened. Uh, if I'm teaching the intro to performance class and it runs the way it has in the past, I will open it up to all of you to be involved in the final show. I did that this past semester. I had a group of people that have taken the class before that were putting together music uh, when this all hit. And uh, you're invited to be a part of that as well because you missed out on the show this year. I certainly hope you take advantage of that offer and uh, I hear from you and see from you in the fall because I'd love to see some of you up on the stage and just rocking out. It's a great thing to have. Oh, and this is a studio dog, Dharma. <laughs>